One of my students comes out from UC Santa Cruz. He's a hundred times more adept at the computer stuff than I. So we want to first orient you to where we are right now, where Brandeis is, where Runkle Ranch is, and where the field lab is. So let me hand it over to you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea, you know, from where you're facing, imagine, you know, if there's a window right here and you were looking out into the mountains, right? So right now, what you see on the screen is what you would look at if you decided to Google uh, where we are right now. Now to give you a better idea, yeah, so right here is where we are at the moment. You're sitting right there. <laughs> well, yeah, right there. <laughs> Um, so now, from your point of view, if there was a window, um, this is what you would see. So let's try this over a little bit. Okay, so if, oh, I lost it. Okay. All right, so we have us right here. Right here is the Rumpel development. Brandeis is a little bit over here. And then right here on the ridge, is the Santa Susana Field Lab. So it's pretty close to where we are at this moment. Oops, sorry, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, yeah, so this, see what Ruckel looks like. This is a little bit old, a few months old. There are now dozens of homes that have already been constructed or in the process of being constructed. But you can see all the uh, earth moving that they've been doing, and that the facility is just below the field laboratory. And to its west, you have Brandeis. Again, just below the field lab. The important things for you to remember is the field lab is up on a ridge. And Brandeis, Runkel, and where we are, are below it. And contamination wants to basically move downhill. Contaminated water flows downhill. Contaminated air that flows off comes down as well. So uh, we and Runkel and Brandeis are nestled just below the lab. Why don't you show them a little bit of the lab itself? Okay. So to get a better idea of what happened here, um, right here was a sodium reactor. Right here. right here was a sodium reactor experiment that had a partial nuclear meltdown. And as you can see, because it's right on the ridge, you know, you have Brandeis right here, and you have the rest of the Simi Valley community. So it's pretty close, like very, very close. Um, another thing uh, that occurred here was that they had burn pits over here towards the west side, where... Burn pits in which radioactive and chemical waste were illegally burned in the open air for decades, and where the contaminated water for the pools was dumped over the side into Brandeis, and where the wind blew contamination um, towards Simi part of the day and towards the uh, 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 Woodland Hills area of uh, the San Fernando Valley other parts of the day. It went in all directions, but those were the primarily, primary wind directions. Yeah. And then another thing to look at right now are three rocket test stands that you can see. So here is one of them. Yeah. Right, this is one of them. Here's the second. And here's the third. Literally just downhill or from where uphill from where we are. So there were thousands of rocket tests, some of which used fairly toxic rocket fuels. And the plumes went wherever the wind took them. And then other contaminants were just dumped in the ground, ran off the site, contaminated the groundwater, the groundwater itself is my grief. So bring us back to where we are. Okay. We are over here. And let's move that down. Can you all speak up a little bit? Sure, sorry. So just to remind you, here is where we are at the moment. And if this were a window, right here would be Runkle Ranch. 
Brandeis taught here, and the field app just up above. 